Government Senator Don Webby says Jamaica's diaspora has made significant contributions to the country through charities and direct investments. He highlighted the areas of investment and how it has benefited the country as he opened the Senate's State of the Nation debate on Friday. Senator Don Webby says before the pandemic, Jamaica's economy was moving in the right direction. Stock market, and I sorry, my colleague, Senator Bunting is not here. Stock market outperforming the world. Tax revenues ahead of budget. Senator Samuda, business confidence, the highest level since 2001. The net international reserve reached the highest since independence. And the debt to GDP ratio was under 100 at the March 2020. The advent of the COVID-19 pandemic saw the country's economy slowing to a relative halt. But throughout the challenging time, Jamaicans living abroad kept up their support. Senator Webby says remittances went up by 20%. One thing I know is our diaspora is passionate about our country and love our country. I, I, I want to thank them for their significant contributions through charities and directly investing in agriculture, education, and the health sector and community development initiatives. Again, I want to pause, Minister, in terms of your engagement of the diaspora, you know I'm a part of that. You are doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much. He is urging members of the diaspora to continue to support the country. I therefore want to encourage the Jamaican diaspora to continue to invest in Jamaica as the diaspora represents a reservoir of social and financial capital we, which we must be optimized by national development. We will build back stronger. Senator Webby says everyone has a part to play in the nation's social and economic recovery and work has already begun. In April 2020, Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Commission the COVID-19 Economic Recovery Task Force with the objective of developing a comprehensive plan to respond to Jamaica's enduring the adverse social and economic fallout of due to its pandemic and rebuild Jamaica to even a higher level. Several subcommittees were formed, agriculture, construction and infrastructure, macro fiscal and manufacturing and export were formed and we're going to build back stronger. He says the forecast of the Planning Institute of Jamaica is encouraging. After four quarters of economic decline, the PIOG has projected that the economy is set to grow by as much as 9% for the second quarter of 2021 and 48% for the fiscal year 2021-2022. He says this projection has the support of the private sector.